So moving on to the 2012 A-level question. I know the weather is a little bad today, right? Question number 37. Question is saying, consider the following hypothetical balance of payment data for a country. Exports of goods, imports of goods, net services, net income, net current transfers. And they are telling balance of payment on the current account. And you same thing, no last paper. So how do you find your current account BOP balance now? First, you take your trade balance. For your trade balance, what do you add? You add your uh, service account balance. Right? You add your service account balance. Then you add your primary income. Primary income. And then you add your secondary income. So we'll take the numbers here. How much do we have? Trade balance here. Export minus import. How much is my trade balance number? I'm exporting 11,000, importing 13,000. My trade balance is a negative 2,000. Be very careful with the minuses, huh? Trade balance is a minus 2,000. How much is my service balance? They have given plus 200. Now, if the numbers are different from the past paper product, when I type it, sometimes I miss a zero here and there. Uh, this net income, we'll consider that as our primary income. Okay, That's a minus 2,000. Then, uh, Current transfers, that is secondary income, no? that's a minus 100. Okay. So if we get the net, how much do we get? Lama? Minus 2,000, minus 2,000, minus 100. Uh, that is minus 4,100. Plus there is a positive here. You get a minus 3,900. Hoping the numbers are okay. 3,000. Uh, there was a question on chat box on the appreciation depreciation part. Uh, I'll come to it. There are more questions uh, in the rest of the paper. Okay. Now, 2012. Then, see, very easy question repeated from our previous year. We'll go to this. Uh, 38. Question number 38 is saying a positive balance. Oh, I guess my screen is a little getting stuck. Okay, uh, question number uh, 38 is saying a positive balance in what? A positive balance on merchandise trade in a country's balance of payment necessarily implies what? Necessarily means what? Lamai? Necessarily means definitely says what? There is a positive balance on your trade account. What can we say? Terms of trade index is higher than the previous year. Can you say that? Can you definitely say that? Positive balance can lama. Your exports are more than your imports. Can you definitely say that the terms of trade has improved? You can't definitely say that neither. Maybe it would have improved than last year. Maybe it would have gone down a little. That we can't say just because our net exports are positive. We can't conclude on number. Then number two, more goods are being exported than are being imported. Can we say that? Can we say number two, more goods are being uh, exported than what is being imported? I'll uh, switch one of my Wi-Fi's into my other Wi-Fi. We'll see if it gets better. When they say more goods are being exported, are they referring to the value or the quantity? Tell me that. Here they are referring to Lamai, the quantity of exports and imports. Can you say that we have exported more number of units? Can you definitely say that? Let's say Lamai, we are exporting, let's say, uh, TV look okay. So we are exporting, let's say, 100 units of tea. Okay, price of a packet of tea is let's say 1000 rupees. Then, so this is our tea price. 
then how much is my export revenue? My export revenue is 100,000. Let's say I am importing, okay? Let's say I am importing 200 units of, let's say, uh, t shirt. One t shirt is, let's say, 300 rupees. So then my total imports will be 60,000. Do I have a positive trade balance? Yes. Export revenue is more than my import revenue. But is the quantity exported more than the quantity imported? Neither. It doesn't have to be that way, right? You'll understand. You can have a positive trade balance. Now, according to my example, I have a trade balance positive of 40,000. But just because I have a positive trade balance, I can't say, I can't definitely say that more goods, more goods means the quantity, that the quantity of exports are higher. I can't say that. So therefore, number two is out. Small things be careful about. Number three, there has been an improvement in the BOP current account. Can we definitely say that? Trade account, maybe there is a surplus. But if we take our other accounts, primary income, secondary income, service account, what if there is a, a deficit there? Then can our BOP current account improve? No. Can't definitely conclude that. You can't. Now see, they are saying necessarily. Necessarily means definitely this will happen. Look at number four. Value of imported goods is less than the value of export of goods. Is that correct? Value of the imported goods is less than the value of your exported goods. That you can say, no? You have a trade surplus means the value. Value means one of the price into quantity. That is value. Your value is less than your Import value is less than your export value. This one you can say. This can be your correct answer. Last one. Export prices are higher than import prices. Again, definitely, Lama, you can't conclude that. You can't definitely say that. So, therefore, not number five as well. Uh, if four was not there, can we say number two? Again, I feel it's still not correct. Even if four was not there. Because they are saying necessarily, no. we still can't uh, kind of say that. Yes, when why first one is not the answer as the answer is when. So first one, now first one is the terms of trade. Now what is terms of trade? Export price index and import price index. Just because you have a trade surplus, you can't say terms of trade is improved. Now. Terms of trade can even come down or terms of trade can even go up. We can't definitely say that. And then uh, number three, there has been a, now remember my current account is not only your trade account. Current account has your trade account, service account, net primary income, net secondary income. It has all of that. So just because your, uh, I'll have my camera off in case it's lagging. Lamai. Just because your trade account has a surplus, you can't definitely say that there is a current account surplus. So therefore, number three is out. And again, number five, you can't say Nilamai. How can you say that export prices are definitely higher than import prices? Yes, you need to understand when you say trade balance, it, it comes from a very basic understanding, Nilamai. It is, if you take your, ex, your export should be greater than your import. That is where you have a positive trade balance. Your exports have to be more than your import. So, exports means export value, not the export price, not the export quantity. The value of your exports. How do you get the value of your exports? Value of your exports is price into quantity. That is the value of your exports. Then imports also has to be the value of your import. So, that is also price into quantity. So, Lama, you can't definitely say the price has increased or quantity has increased. Try to get that basic there because 
maybe one variable can fall and one variable can increase a lot. Maybe it can happen the other way also. So it comes from a basic understanding, trying to figure out what is this trade balance. It's not the price, it's not the quantity. Okay. Is that fine, safe? No. Thirty-eight. If you're not considering, uh, if you're not considering answer one because only imports and exports. No, answer one is not. Answer one is not considered because Ramai, what is terms of trade? We learn in unit number nine. Terms of trade is your export price index divided by import price index. So here also you're only focusing on the prices. In answer number one, you're only focusing on price. In answer number two, you're only focusing on the uh, quantity. In answer number five, you're only focusing on the price. So one, two, and five are out. Answer number three, just because you have a positive trade balance, you can't say the current account has it. Because current account has service account, uh, net primary, net secondary, all of that. So you can't definitely say that also. So that is why three is out. So the only correct answer we have is number four. Okay, these are not very hard. Try to, if you're missing a point, that means you have not understood something somewhere. Okay. Now, then go into 39. This thing I would have done Lamai, in uh, unit number 9 also. But since it was not there in the unit 9 PDF, we'll quickly discuss this. Tell me, if country A has the absolute advantage in the production of everything, what can you say? No trade will take place between country A because country A will have the comparative advantage in everything. No trade will take place because no country will have a comparative advantage. Trade will probably take place and all countries will gain. Trade will take place, but country A will not gain. Trade will probably take place, but country A will be the only one to gain. So you can go with number three, right? Just because you have the absolute advantage. Remember, absolute advantage is not a necessary condition. What should you have for international trade to happen? There needs to be comparative advantage. I guess this is a unit nine question, but it's mistakenly come over here. Okay. Hoping that's fine. I would have discussed this in unit number uh, nine as well. Right. Then number 40, Lamai. Okay. Same question repeated again. Very easy one. Tell me. If the nominal exchange rate between the dollar and the rupee changes from $1 equals 110 to $1 equals 135. Quickly tell me. Has the Sri Lankan rupee appreciated or depreciated? Sri Lankan rupee, the LKR, the LKR has depreciated. The US dollar has appreciated. Okay. That's the first thing you need to figure out when you get a question like this. Now, based on that, Lama, we'll see what to do. Now, first one. First one says rupee appreciates. Then rupee has depreciated. Second one, Sri Lankan goods will be less expensive to Americans. Is that correct? When our rupee depreciates, our goods are less expensive. That means our goods are cheaper for USA. That part is correct, Lama. When our rupee has depreciated, now our exports are cheaper. And imports of Sri Lankan goods to the US will rise. That is also correct, no? Lama, see how they have worded this very cunning. Yes, they have said imports of Sri Lankan goods to the US. That means US is importing. US is importing means we are exporting. In other words, they are saying our exports become cheaper. Therefore, exports will rise. So we are exporting means USA is importing. See how cunning they were when putting that. This looks correct. We'll look at the other answers also and see Lamar. Other answers, Sri Lankan goods will become more expensive. No, no. If our rupee depreciates, our goods are cheap. Sri Lankan goods will become more expensive. Wrong. Sri Lankan goods will become less expensive. Okay. And imports of Sri Lankan goods to the US will fall. No, no. If our goods are less expensive, they will import more and more of our goods. So, therefore, of this as well. Same question, Lamai. What you need to know is, 
when the rupee depreciates, yes, you need to be a little tricky with your English. When the rupee depreciates, exports become cheap. Therefore, the demand for exports increase. Imports become expensive. The demand for imports come down. In the second option, they have mentioned the same thing in two different ways. No, they are saying that the goods will become less expensive. Therefore, imports will rise. They are saying this will become cheaper and therefore this will go up. That's what they are saying. Okay. Answer to is the correct one. Mm, okay. Then there is uh, comparative and competitive. I'll come to that after class. I would have gone through in unit number nine. Check the past paper discussion there. Okay. Uh, 41. Under a flexible exchange rate system, the primary mechanism for dealing with temporary disequilibrium. What is the mechanism of dealing with uh, temporary disequilibrium? What happens now? Temporary disequilibrium of BOP means what? If there are surpluses or deficits. So if there are surpluses or deficits in your uh, BOP, what will happen to your exchange rate level? What's the mechanism to solve this? Rigid system of exchange controls, currency flow from surplus to deficit units, uh, devaluation or revaluation, depreciation or appreciation, maintaining a tight fiscal policy. Now I remember we learned, go back to your guys again. Uh, I'm not teaching theory here. I'm hoping you all have learned your theory and you all have come. Okay. Remember in the B, under flexible exchange rate system, we learned how the BOP automatically balances. Remember that part. Ah. So how does it automatically balance? That is because the currency starts to appreciate and depreciate. So all the answers I got is number four. Uh, see how much did you all get in the 2021 paper? Sorry, 2021, 2012 paper. Uh, there were five MCs. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Anyone? Five out of five? You've got five out of five? Perfect. Nice. Brilliant. At least three, I feel you're somewhat okay. Less than three means you'll have to work a little harder now. Okay, good, nice.